Hello friends, I am Dr. Navin Sundar from Karunia University. We are going to see a uh, topic from information storage management and I am going to deal you about the five core elements of data center infrastructure. It is a very important concept in this. So here you can see what are the five core elements. Initially you have the application user interface and then we have the server and then we have the storage array and how we are going to use the network devices okay so one is the LAN and the another one is the storage area network so these are all the five features okay five core elements in the data center infrastructure right so uh, I hope you understood about the data and information in the previous sessions I have seen okay if you want you can subscribe and you can know about the information about the data and the information now we will see about these five core elements in the data center infrastructure initially you have the client user interface okay so normally when the user wants to try to communicate with the server and to get some information so it uses this user interface that is the application user interface okay so the LAN is a connection that is that will be established between this application user interface and the server okay so what the information required by the client that will be sent to the server by means of this local area network and the next is everything it will not be stored in the server but everything it have to be maintained in the database for that we are using the storage array that is the next the core element that is the storage array so how it will be sent the storage array can be in any location it cannot be like a within a building but it can be in any continent or any part of the world okay so for the business we will have to go for the worldwide okay so that is the time we can't go through only the LAN network but that is the time we can use the storage area network that will be helpful for sending the information what is there in the server that can be passed on to the storage array storage array is none other than it is like the array of disk that will be stored so multiple clients for multiple information that can be stored in an array it cannot be have in a single hard disk but it have to be go for array of disk okay so that is the time we are using the storage array okay so now we will consider some case study or some example how it is actually doing for example if you are going for the ATM machine okay these days for the ATM machine okay so the client machine can be the ATM machine it can be any part of the uh, world okay so it will have the local server okay what you are giving your pin number and all your information that will be stored in the database and then what whether that pin is right or wrong okay so it have to be sent to the server okay so we will use the local area network in sending this information okay so how this server okay will get the read or write the information which is there in the user interface for that we have this OS okay OS normally you know right so how the user is interface with the hardware by means of this OS okay so that is the main usage of the OS okay so these DBMS in the server okay will use the OS to retrieve and read the information from the client and give the information back to the client right so and all the information what are the transaction that is made in with the server everything have to be stored okay for that it will send through the storage area network and it will be sent all this information to the storage storage area okay so there the storage array will contains all the information that is the transaction that is take place between the server and client and all the information from all turbot how uh, how many clients can be interacted with the server everything will be stored there okay so that is the main usage of the storage array we can use any application for e-shopping or any other applications we are using the same example like how we are using this five core elements okay now we will see the a closer look of each element in detail right so initially the customer if you are going for an uh, e-shopping okay take an example for 
for an e-shopping, how it is happening. So the customer needs some product, okay? So he have to give his details, his address and every information, whether he wants to go for cash on delivery or anything else, okay? Or through um, a debit card he want to pay, okay? So all this information that will be typed in the user interface, okay? So that will be sent to the server, okay? So the server that can be uh, within the uh, region, okay? And also we can retrieve the product even from the diff some websites, some shopping websites that can be in the local area or some shopping uh, can be made even within the different countries, okay, different parts of the world. So that is the time the request will be sent to initially the local server by means of the local area network, okay. And the next is the client access the server over a local area network. So here we are using the network device term to be local area network okay next when we go for the DBMS okay the DBMS uses the operating system on the server to read and write the data to the physical location on the disk okay so it will be stored in the physical location and the server okay so in the server you have the physical location so there it will be stored okay but as I told you all the transactions cannot be handled by the server so it have to be sent okay to the storage array by means of a storage area network that's why we have a dedicated storage area network provides the communication link between the server and the storage array okay and transports the read write commands and the data uh, between the server and the storage array okay so that is the main uh, role it takes place okay so between the server and the storage array we are establishing the storage storage area network as a network device okay coming to the next when we see the storage array finally the storage array receives all the read write commands and the data from the server and performs the necessary operations to store the data on the physical disk so here we have the physical disk as I told you array of disk will be there it can maintain uh, more than yota bytes of data any amount of data it can be stored here so that it will not be uh, deadlocked or crashed at any point of time we can use a maximum of memory in storing the all the information I hope you understood about this um, uh, previous when you see the data center infrastructure okay so when you see the data center infrastructure the five core elements we have seen uh, from these slides okay I hope you understood about the uh, core elements of uh, data center infrastructure okay uh, so if you want to know more about this information storage management you can subscribe and you can get the information okay all the best mm -hmm.